Headshot, biscuit, biscuit. I'm here at this protest to campaign against PIP and the biscuit and the changes that are robbing people um, of their mobility and independence. Biscuit, cats, hedgehog, ta da, beans. Hedgehog! Hedgehog! So we took the DWP to court over the work capability assessments which were bad and now the PIP assessments have started as a replacement for DLA and they're worse. And we're here for one reason. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. Today we are going to show this government what disabled people have been put through and what we are made of. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. Thank you. Steve Powell, I'm just an ordinary bloke, but I've had enough. I'm one of those who bricks it every time I see a brown envelope on my Mac, because I'm one of those who's on indefinite DLA at the moment, and I'm waiting for my PIP assessment. And it will. I'm trying really hard to get a job at the moment. It's not easy when you're unemployed and disabled. And if I lose my PIP, then I lose this check then I lose my free pass, I lose, basically I get sentenced to house arrest and I've had enough and I've come down here today to say I don't hate the players, I don't hate the people who work for Capita, I hate the game, I hate the fact that we've got a government who gives huge contracts to a private for-profit company making money out of the suffering of ordinary people. I've worked for 38 years, I've paid my national insurance contributions for 38 years, i paid for a pension. Uh, I believe people should work if they can work, but I don't believe that the way that this government is persecuting people, and I'm absolutely convinced that all the evidence shows that a case after case after case, people who have been passed as fit for work have died in the weeks and months after that assessment. It's wicked, it's evil. I've had enough and I'm here to speak up today and said I've had enough of this and we need to go back to some sort of civilised country which I thought, uh, which I was brought up in, where there were some values and I wasn't demonised for the, for, the, for the sin of being disabled. Thank you. G Pat. I am totally fed up with this government using the disabled and mental health people as scapegoats. I am totally fed up. Yes, I can walk, I look like I can walk, but I had my problems. I'm That's what they want us to do. People with disabled problems. So ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, I stand here in solidarity. I will fight to the end. Still trying to the only thing I must ask everybody, especially Paula, if anything happens like this, text me, I'm not on email. So please get the word to me. So thank you, solidarity. Yeah! Hi, Shara Ali, Deputy Leader of the Green Party. Look, the word's already been used. Solidarity, and what does that mean? It means equality, yes. it means justice, yes. it means treating people who have basic needs humanely. That's all we're asking for. And this government, this crisis of government, seems to know only one thing, which is the bottom line is the bottom line. And whilst they perpetrate their austerity, 
they do not actually put in the dock the people who are most deserving of it. All those gross violations of accounting by the bankers in the city, that should be the target. Instead, whether it's 32 billion on HS2, whether it's 100 billion on Trident Renewal. Look, I went into politics because I cared about people and I understand that politics is about priorities. And we are the priority. Everybody is a priority. Basic human needs need to be met, whatever the cost, and we can afford it. Instead of subcontracting our NHS to million million pound budget PFI co contracts which we can't afford and cost more. Instead of that, we need action on the streets if necessary and we have a message to Theresa May whenever she's being sworn in. Has it happened yet? <laughs> whenever, whoever yeah. is in power, we have a message to you. You need to look after us, not because we request it, because we demand it. We demand it. And that's what we're saying here today. And solidarity from the Green Party. Everybody is with you. And we will remain with you. Thank you. if you can hear me. Yeah. I think we've been sleepwalking in this country really for the last 20 to 30 years and what we've seen now is the crack. We have got record levels of poverty, of socio-economic inequality in this country and what we're seeing is that the people that are in charge do not value the majority of people in this country. They value themselves and they value corporations and they value profits yeah. over people. And that is what we are seeing. I think what we need to do is to start standing up together and start making politics a real everyday demand about what kind of society we want to live in. Do we want to live in a society where all of the money that all of you pay every day with your hard earned work goes to the absolute top, to the 0.1% and the bottom are being totally ignored, crushed, belittled and even killed? You know, th there's a poster over here with a number of uh, disabled people who have tragically died as a result of these cuts. And I'm seeing it every day on the front line in the NHS, every single day. Every single one of us here has a responsibility to start getting out and start speaking together about the kind of society we want to live in. For the first time in history, we can afford to house people. We can afford to feed everyone. We can afford education. We can afford healthcare for everyone. But we're choosing not to because our leaders are choosing corporate interests over the majority of all of us. And we say no to that, actually. So I think these guys, you guys are absolutely amazing. Us doctors are learning from you. Um, you are our teachers. Um, if, if you want to join up with us as well, we're having a massive demonstration. There's one tomorrow outside Bart's Hospital. This is a message to Maggie May. And whoever may take over Crab's job, because he may not stay there. You see us out here today. We will be back in large numbers every day. to your former boss, Ian Duncan Smith. He murdered in large numbers 
the disabled people. It's a shout out because it really annoys him and he's threatened to sue us for saying it. IDS murders! The truth is out there! No more from You're black, white, brown, blue, male or female too. Our lives all have equal opportunity, access and that value. Their lives. Every one of their friends and families for the rest of their lives. And I am telling you now that every MP in this country is aware of at least one person in their constituency that has died. And they do nothing. Yeah. 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 Ye